Slugger's Car Wash by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Barney Salzberg, level 3, math start, dollars and cents. <laughs> the 21st Street Sluggers had a problem. They were going to be in the playoffs for the very first time. That wasn't the problem. In two weeks, they had to play the 7th Avenue Spitfires. That wasn't the problem either. Look at these t-shirts, said Julia. They're worn out. They're dirty, and they have holes the size of manhole covers. We've got to get some new t-shirts before the playoffs. That will cost a lot of money, said Lily. At least a hundred dollars. Coach said if we raise some money, he could probably get all the parents to match it, Julia reminded them. Yeah, but how are we going to raise money, CJ demanded. I know, said Will. A car wash. <laughs> hey, that's a great idea, said Lily. We can get the whole team to help. All right, said CJ. Let's get started right away. We'll charge $3.50 a car. Let's put all our money together, then we can go out and buy supplies. All the team members emptied their pockets. CJ kept a record of who gave what amount of money. Then he sorted out the dollars into all the different coins. He made a decimal point between the dollars and the cents as he added everything up. We have $23.89, he announced. That's almost $25. Lily and Will, you guys go get soap and sponges, CJ directed. Julia, you can get some poster boards for signs. What are you going to do? Asked Julia as CJ handed out money to the sluggers. I'm going to set up my office, said CJ. Before long, everyone was back for their errands. They gave CJ the change. CJ counted up the money they had left. While Will made a big sign, CJ got a chair and a beach umbrella. While Lily filled the buckets with water, CJ got himself a tall glass of lemonade. They didn't have to wait very long. Will's mom was their first customer. Julia was in charge of the hose. Will had the soap. Lily handed out sponges. Go, and go. the sluggers all started to wash. Soon Will's mom drove her clean car over to the cash table. She handed CJ a $5 bill. Let's see. Three dollars and fifty cents plus two quarters makes four dollars, and a dollar bill makes five dollars, said CJ. He handed her one dollar and fifty cents. Tell your friends to come to the Slugger's Car Wash. Then he figured out how much money they had now. Keep working, guys, he shouted. We've got a long way to go. The driver of the convertible handed CJ two one dollar bills, four quarters, four dimes, and two nickels. CJ counted. Hmm, two one dollar bills plus four quarters makes three dollars, and four dimes and forty cents plus two nickels makes fifty cents. That's Three dollars and fifty cents. Exact change. We appreciate your business, CJ said with a bow. The sluggers washed a green pickup. Julia squirted. Lily polished. Will scrubbed. Oops, he said. CJ sipped his lemonade. Go, go, go. The driver gave CJ a $10 bill. CJ counted. Hmm, 
dollars and fifty cents plus two quarters makes four dollars plus one dollar makes five dollars plus five dollars makes ten dollars. He gave her back six dollars and two quarters. Next was the yellow station wagon. Will scrubbed, Julia squirted, Lily slipped. Yuck, she said. Hurry up, guys, yelled CJ. There's a blue jeep right behind you. The driver of the station wagon gave CJ a $5 bill and two quarters. Just give me back two singles, he said. Okay, three dollars and fifty cents. Four dollars and fifty cents. Five dollars and fifty cents, said CJ as he handed over the two bills. When there was a break in traffic, CJ figured out on his clipboard how much money they had now. Keep scrubbing, guys! One ten dollar bill. One five dollar bill. Nine quarters. Twelve dimes. Twenty six nickels. And seventy six pennies. We're getting there! CJ called out. Cars came all afternoon. <laughs> Finally, the last car was washed. CJ gave the sluggers back all the money they chipped in to buy supplies and counted up what was left. The team made $63.12. Wow! he said. When our parents double that amount, we'll definitely have enough for new t-shirts. We did great! Oh, we did, did we? said Will. I guess so, said Lily. Most of us work really hard, and most of us are really hot, and really tired, and really wet. But I noticed when one of us isn't, well, I know how to fix that, said Julia. <laughs> the end. For adults and kids. In Slugger's Car Wash, the math concept is counting dollars and cents. The ability to count money and to make change is a basic skill needed for everyday life. If you would like to have more fun with the math concepts presented in Slugger's Car Wash, here are a few suggestions. Really like the idea of this one, uh, shopping. Use a catalog or newspaper insert and have the child pretend that he or she is going shopping. I used index cards and cut out items from the newspaper, each having different costs. Give your shopper a certain amount of money they can pretend that they're shopping and make the correct change when they add it all up. Let's go shopping. You have a $10 bill and a $5 bill each. You buy bread at $3.55, cookies at $2.99, apples at $3.44, and cheese at $1.99. Your total purchase is $11.97. That's your cost. That's how much you're going to pay. So you get $15 together to purchase your groceries. That's the money that you're going to use to buy with. We minus the $11.97 and get $3.03. That's your change. You get $3 and 3 pennies. Doink, doink. And doink. See, math can be fun. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. Thank you. See you soon.